The desert sands are heated, parched and dreary. The tigers rend alive their quivering prey in the near jungle. Here the kites rise, weary, too gorged with living food to fly away. All night the hungry jackals howl together over the carrion in the river bed, or seize some small soft thing of fur or feather whose dying shrieks on the night air are shed. I hear from yonder temple in the distance, whose roof with obscene carven gods is piled, reiterated with a sad insistence sobs of perhaps some immolated child strange rites here where the archway's shade is deeper are consummated in the river bed pariahs steal a rotten railway sleeper to burn the bodies of their cholera dead but yet their lust their hunger cannot shame them goaded by fierce desire that flays and stings poor beasts and poorer men nay who shall blame them blame the inherent cruelty of things the world is horrible and i am lonely let me rest here where yellow roses bloom and find forgetfulness remembering only your face beside me in the scented gloom nay do not shrink i am not here for passion i crave no love only a little rest although i would my face lay lover's fashion against the tender coolness of your breast i am so weary of the curse of living the endless, aimless torture, tumult, fears. Surely, if life were any God's free giving, He, seeing His gift, long since went blind with tears. Seeing us, our fruitless strife, our futile praying, our luckless present and our blood-stained past, poor players, who make a trick or two in playing, but know that death must win the game at last. As round the fowler with feathered slaughter the little joyous lark unconscious sings, as the pink lotus floats on azure water, innocent of the mud from whence it springs. You walk through life, unheeding all the sorrow, the fear and pain set close around your way, meeting with hopeful eyes each gay tomorrow, living with joy each hour of glad today. I love to have you thus, nay, dear, lie quiet. How should these reverent fingers wrong your hair? So calmly careless of the rush and riot, that rages round us, seething everywhere. You do not understand. You think your beauty does but inflame my senses to desire, till all you hold as loyalty and duty is shrunk and shriveled in the ardent fire. You wrong me, wearied out with thought and grieving, as though the whole world's sorrow eat my heart, I come to gaze upon your face, believing its beauty is as ointment to the smart. Lie still and let me in my desolation caress the soft, loose hair a moment's span. Since loveliness is life's one consolation, and love the only Lethe left to man. Ah, give me here beneath the trees in flower, beside the river where the fireflies pass, one little dusky, all-consoling hour, 
lost in the shadow of the long-grown grass. Give me, O oh, you whose arms are soft and slender, whose eyes are nothing but one long caress, against your heart so innocent and tender, a little love and some forgetfulness. End of poem.